So there are two ways that you can edit the content or edit the nodes that are within your case. So here I am on my labyrinths again, and this is the case we're working on, ID 223. So I go to actions and click edit to actually edit the case. Now I'm back in the case and I'm on the details page where we renamed the case before. And the first way that you can edit the nodes is by going via the nodes link. So on the left hand side here, you can see where it says core layout and I'm gonna click nodes. And this opens this nodes page. Now, here are all the nodes. Um, they're not in order that the Open Labyrinth runs. They're in the order that the nodes were created. And I've decided I'm going to edit this introduction slide. So it says root next to the introduction slide because this is the very first node that they go on. And via actions, I'm going to click edit. It brings me to this page. I need to scroll to the top. And from here, I can see the title of my node, which is introduction slide, and that's fine. I'm going to leave that as it is. And we can see node content as well. So I'm going to stretch this text box to make it a bit bigger. And from here, I can add text. And I can decide to underline things, delete things, etc., just as you would on a normal Word document. You can also change the font family and the font size if you want to. And you can also um, add in tables and things, which we'll go into a bit more detail later. When I have decided uh, that this is fine, I've finished with this, I need to scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Save Changes. So that's the first way that you can edit the node by clicking on nodes on the left hand side. The other way that you can edit nodes is within the visual editor itself. So on the left hand side again, where it says core layout, click visual editor. And here's where it opens up the case for you all laid out. I've decided again that I want to edit the introduction slide, so I click on it. And here, instead of going to actions where we deleted nodes before, we make sure we're on node content. And again, here's where I can change the title. I can scroll down and here's all of my text. I need to stretch the box so that I can see what I'm doing. But now I've decided I don't like that line, so I can delete it. And once I'm finished, I just click Save Changes and Close, and it's changed it for me. Remember, when you're on Visual Editor, you always need to click Save, but that's the other way that you can edit nodes.